of an unborn child or a woman's right to do what she chooses with her own body, that is abortion, such a controversial topic today in America. <clears throat> I feel like I'm incredibly to discuss this topic because after weeks of extensive research, I found out that abortion is a very serious issue and everyone should know the facts about it. I feel like this is relevant to the audience because after doing my audience analysis survey, 70% of you said that you would sound like to have children, and 70% of you said that you do have some of concern with abortion. The specific purpose of my speech is to inform you on abortion so that you will be able to make an educated decision if you do ever decide to take a stance on abortion. The points I want to go over are what abortion actually is, what types of abortion there are, the methods that, the way that these abortions are performed, and the stances that are taken on abortion. To begin, we must first know what abortion is. According to the British Emergency Advisory Service, in 2010, they said that abortion is the termination of a pregnancy. <coughs> My second point is, <coughs> furthermore, I want to discuss the types of abortion that there are. The first type of abortion is the most common, and it's called the vacuum aspiration. The vacuum aspiration works like this. There's a tube. That is, oh, that works. Okay, <laughs> there's a tube that is stuck into the uterus, which is this right here, and attaches to the embryo. It's attached to a machine, a vacuum machine. The vacuum machine then sucks the embryo into this tube. Now this is the tube used that goes into the uterus, and this is the machine. The embryo will then land in this container. Now, this type of abortion is done up to 16 weeks after conception. The next type of abortion is called the abortion medication. Now, these are pills that you use to take to end the pregnancy. And these usually happen up to nine weeks after conception. This is usually the type of pill that one takes to end an abortion. Now, this pill is also known as microstone or RU486. And how this works is, it weakens the lining of the uterus, which causes the embryo to be attached, which then ends the pregnancy. To continue, I would like to discuss the stances on abortion. Now, those, the group who is against abortion, they are called pro-life, hence they want the embryo to live. The reason why they are against abortion um, is because they feel it is murder. Now, they are um, they are for abortion. Some are for abortion in certain circumstances, which are rape, incest, and if it is used to save a mother's life. But other than that, they feel that it is abortion, and they feel that the root of abortion is just pure selfishness. They feel that the embryo is alive at conception, and um, they do not believe that it takes longer just to announce a, um, an embryo as a human being. They also feel that abortion is dangerous because it can have long-term damages. First of all, it can cause hemorrhaging, which is heavy bleeding, which then can cause um, to a blood transfusion. The next, it can um, cause a woman to never, ever get pregnant again if it's done incorrectly. And sometimes they are done incorrectly. And the last issue could be death. A woman can die from abortion. The next group I would like to discuss is pro-life. And these people are pro-choice. Pro-choice. And this group, they are for abortion. They feel that a woman's body is her own and she has the privacy to do whatever she chooses with her own body. They believe that a fetus is not a human at conception, but is a human to become. They also feel that abortion can be a positive thing. For example, this is what they use to justify abortion being positive. They feel that ever since abortion was legalized, crime has gone down. Abortion was legalized 
1973, the Roe versus Wade trial occurred. Now, as you can see, it shows property crime and violent crime. Since abortion, it has steadily and slowly gone down, but then it's in their lives, but then the, in the 2000s, it has gone down again. It is not exactly justifiable about how this relates, but they do feel that this is a, a justifiable way for abortion to be legal. According to the impact on crime due to the, legal, due to the legalization of abortion by John Donahue in 2001, the theory is that unwanted children or parents who do not have the means to take care of them usually have children that turn out as criminals because they use in high poverty levels and they're searching for a way out. In conclusion, I hope you now see why abortion is such a controversial topic and it should not be taken lightly. After listening to my speech, you should be able to identify what abortion is, how abortion works, what type of abortions there are, and the stances that are taken on that have been taken on abortion. Now you may feel that abortion is the murder of an unborn child. You may feel it is a woman's choice to do what she chooses to do with her own body, or you may just have a better insight on what abortion actually is and how it works. But whatever you may feel, I hope that you left this presentation with something memorable and that you gained something.